Steve Vignani here for Asseter Auctioneers, the Great Texas Mopar Hoard Treasure Collection Auction Event. This is number 111, a 1964 Dodge Polara 500. I like what we're seeing here, the skinny 15 by oh, five and a half Kreger SS wheels up front, skinny tires, kind of a nice super stock vibe going on. Uh, under the hood, nothing here, uh, but we see the remnants of power drum brakes, power steering, and factory air conditioning. So we can rule out this car ever having been a Max Wedge or a Race Hemi, you know, good luck to that. Probably a 318 Poly or maybe a 383 two or four barrel. But anyway, the grill is looking great, very nice. These are often bent or dented. Uh, the headlight rings are looking good. Uh, the outer ones are missing, but they're available, reproduction. Front bumpers looking pretty decent. The fenders, quite nice. Uh, no signs of structural rust. Let's break out the magnet and see if it sticks, and it does. So there's no putty down here. This is all metal. The doors, a little bit of uh, pitting here, maybe some rust waiting to come through. Magnet sticks, so there's no putty, no Bondo, which is a nice thing. Yeah, okay. And this is the two-door hardtop body, not the post sedan, uh, but still, it's a, it's a Polar 500, which means we'll find, yep, bucket seats inside and it's an automatic with uh, would have been a console because there's no buttons here and there's the big brake pedal so it's not a four speed but check this out power windows factory power window car pretty uncommon and uh, yeah decent interior let's check out the quarter panels down low here and once again nice no rust no bondo the pitting here I'm gonna say is probably surface it's not uh, coming through that's actually surface pitting just from dirt and stuff hitting it a little scuff there but the lip is nice there's no putty it's not been fixed magnet wants to stick everywhere and check this out that's the original two-piece nut spindle axle which you either love or hate <laughs> they're kind of hard to service the brakes but that's original it's not been messed with nice bottom of the quarter panel down low is nice these often are full of holes the roll under is beautiful no rust here that's awesome. And here's the Polara 500 specific engine termed trim all the way down the side. Going to the back, of course the Polara series 500s have triple lights. The optional push bar, or little bumper guard I should say, pretty cool. Bumper's been pulled unfortunately, but again these are readily available. Inside the trunk, oh how nice is this? Here's the console shifter, which was part of the Polara 500 package. Very cool. Some original spinner hubcaps, which are correct to a Polara. Uh, radio faceplate, more trim rings for headlamp outers. And the trunk floor looks pretty decent here. Yeah, not bad. This is surface stuff right here. Not a big deal. Uh, can't dig much further, but it looks to be pretty sound. Uh, quarter panel on the passenger side down low a little scuff right here But again, this is just as nice as the other side. There's no putty here No issues with the lip and down low here a Dent but again no rust in this quarter panel. Let's pop the door and take a look inside Yeah, pretty nice Let me go inside there and pull up that carpet and see if we find any signs of rust through not bad, not bad at all. That orange area toward the front, that's mostly surface. I wanna say that's not gonna be a hole. Uh, this would be a great little car to either turn into a super stock replica or build up like as a super stock kind of a Mopar kind of deal with skinnies in the front, 15 by eight steel wheels in the back and a 440 or some kind of a stroker wedge under the hood. But this is item number 111, a 64 Dodge Polara 500, two door factory AC, factory power brakes, factory power steering, factory power windows. It's a good one, you need it.